Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa directives have contributed in supporting the kingdom's social, economic and health stability in combating the coronavirus pandemic. His Majesty's directives came to provide health care services to all without exception and free of charge, including examination, treatment and hospitalization services to be followed by the provision of free vaccination to all since the launch of the national vaccination campaign. His Majesty the King has also directed the provision of vaccination to citizens residing outside the kingdom who were unable to obtain the vaccine. The ministries of Health and Foreign Affairs began to coordinate with the concerned parties to launch a vaccination campaign for Bahrainis abroad. His Majesty's directive to launch a financial and economic package worth 4 billion 300 million Bahraini dinars aimed at continuing to pump liquidity into the local market and supporting the various economic sectors affected by the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic, contributing to enhancing economic stability and financial sustainability. The royal directives have led to the support of the social, economic and health stability in the kingdom, allowing institutions to continue their work without interruption or disruption of state projects. Supported by a society that is keen to adhere to instructions and apply health requirements. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports President of the General Sports Authority and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the distinguished performance by players in the National Youth Team for Mixed Martial Arts, Saud Salman, during the 31 kilogram weight C category under 18 years, which is currently organized by the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation in the Bulgarian capital, Sofia in which he achieved the third place with the weight. His Highness congratulated the player on the result he achieved in this first appearance during his participation with the national teams in the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation Championships. That reflects the player's capabilities to achieve further good results for the Bahraini Mixed Martial Arts sport. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride for the participation of the national youth team players in the world of mixed martial arts, which confirms the continuity of the approach of the Bahraini mixed martial arts sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the efforts of the Bahrain Council for Martial Games, headed by His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, to implement His Highness's vision to develop all games, including the mixed martial arts game appreciating the efforts of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association headed by Muhammad Ali Qambar to move forward towards achieving more successes in the sport of mixed martial arts. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Pakistan, His Excellency Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, stated that the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan enjoy excellent bilateral ties and will continue to explore avenues to further enhance cooperation in areas of mutual interest between the two brotherly countries. In an interview with Bahrain News Agency, the Minister reviewed the means of bilateral relations between Bahrain and Pakistan, as well as an overview of his visit to the Kingdom. Have a comprehensive review and see how in the coming days we can deepen them further. A. The other side that I wanted to look at was that we have excellent political and diplomatic relations. You know, we support each other at uh, international forums. Uh, we support each other international candidatures. That's very good. You know, Bahrain has been very uh, very generous and very supportive. Uh, it needs to be enhanced further is the economic partnership. The uh, potential is there. It's huge. The other objective was to convene the second meeting of the Joint Ministerial Commission, which we did. Uh, the two foreign ministers co-chair that meeting and we had a good uh, a comprehensive review of uh, uh, the understandings that were uh, signed over the years and we learned that there were 44 uh, agreements and MOUs between Bahrain and uh, Pakistan. There are many um, Pakistanis who came to Bahrain decades ago. Mm -hmm. They were born, brought up here, you know, 
they have businesses here they have contributed to the uh, economic development of uh, Bahrain and we have a fairly large diaspora over a hundred thousand you know close to 130,000 uh, Pakistanis are residing uh, in Bahrain they're contributing as as professionals as skilled professionals I was delighted to hear from everyone from uh, his majesty to the crown prince to the foreign minister and the interior minister that the level of trust they have in Pakistanis serving them here is amazing and that was very very heartening to know the, the, the kind of warmth the kind of trust uh, they have and the way uh, Pakistanis have served this country is, is, uh, gives me a lot of pride. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in celebrating 2021 as the International Year of Health Workers, as announced by the World Health Organization in recognition of their efforts in tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. The Kingdom of Bahrain lauds the frontliners' contribution in achieving global standards in dealing with the coronavirus pandemic, thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the national efforts of Team Bahrain. The Kingdom expresses its great appreciation and pride in the performance of medical, nursing and supportive professions who are at the forefront in the face of the coronavirus pandemic and their dedication to protecting people's lives. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning received 3,300 complaints during the first half of the year through the National Suggestions and Complaint System Tawasul. The Ministry said that it had taken the necessary measures regarding the complaints and had transferred them to the relevant departments to study and look into them according to priority. The Ministry indicated that most of the complaints concentrated on the road sector, maintenance of potholes and bumps, rainwater drainage, sewage requests and parking lots. The Ministry noted that this figure reflects the interactive relationship with the citizens and the e-channel to Wassel and comes in light with the Director of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister to open direct channels of communication between the government agencies and citizens as well as residents in order to ensure the efficiency of the services and the quality of government performance in a framework of modernity based on the society's needs and requirements. The Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly condemned the Iranian-backed terrorist Houthi militia's attack on a Saudi commercial vessel using an explosive-laden drone, stressing that these repeated acts reflect the insistence of the Houthis to continue attacking the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and undermines security and stability in the region. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs commends the efficiency of the Arab coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen, which were able to thwart the attack. It stressed the need for the international community to take deterrent measures against these repeated violations that contravene all international laws and aim to impede maritime traffic in the region and the freedom of global trade. The yellow status of the COVID-19 alert level system starts tomorrow, Sunday the 1st of August. The National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 said that the yellow alert level will be maintained until at least 80% of individuals aged 40 and above who have had two doses of the Sinopharm vaccine have received a booster dose. The move aims to safeguard public health amidst the global spread of the highly infectious Delta variant and was approved by the Government Executive Committee. And the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,107,217 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,052,384 had taken the second, and 138,001 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry of Health renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the COVID-19 vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 991 with 70 recoveries, 106 registered new cases and no deaths. 33 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 60 are contacts of active cases and 13 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.